Hi everyone, welcome to Bumblebee Crafts. Hope you're all doing well. Thanks for tuning in um, for another video from me. I'm here today with part two of the Times and Seasons journal um, that we've been doing. Um, we did the cover in the first um, episode, um, the first video, and um, I hadn't decided on what I was doing on the cover um, completely, whether I was putting anything on the front. What I've decided to do, because I'm going to Mod Podge over it, is um, these are just some little bits of ephemera you get in um, one of the big um, autumn kits. Um, and I just thought, as they were printed out on paper, because I thought I could back them with cards, for little journaling cards. Um, so they would be really nice on there. I'm just going to put them like that. And then I've got these little words that you get in the fussy cut that I'm just going to have dotted like so. You're going to have lace along the spine, I've decided. And then I'm going to have um, this lovely ribbon um, as the closure. So we'll get to um, doing the Mod Podge in this video, we'll do that first. Um, but I'll just show you that I've also went ahead and prepped. I've got some um, pages here, some dyed, um, coffee dyed um, and tea dyed papers. There's a book page there, um, there's another book page there that's been folded already. And this is um, a little bit of thin um, craft paper. So they're ready to go into the signature as well. I went ahead um, after deciding in the first one what I wanted to back these with. They've all been stitched together. Um, sorry, all been sewn together. I just need to go around and stitch them. So those are the pages there to be stitched. This I've decided I'm going to have a lovely big lace pocket. So it's just been um, tacked down with Fabri-Tac glue. Um, so again, that can be stitched around. So they are all there ready, um, which I'll do the stitching off camera. And then once we've finished, um, once we do the Mod Podge on the cover and we leave that to dry, um, I've gone ahead and prepped these two pages um, with some of my flippy flaps. This one's not stuck in, but this is how um, any of um, you that have watched um, several of my videos of journal making, I like to have these flippy flappy bits um, coming out of them before I stick the two pages together and sew round them. So that's what we're going to be doing um, in this video. I'll probably pause the video um, once those bits have dry and I'll do the stitching around and then we'll come back and hopefully when I come back in the second part of this video um, the Mod Podge will be dry so we can finish the cover um, and hopefully um, we can get the signature um, sewn in. So let's get my protective mat and... This is another um, thing that I use the cereal liners for. Uh, literally, um, it's a, like a protective mat. Um, and I will lay this out on here and we'll mod podge um, all over it. And then I can just lift this whole thing over to the side to dry. They're great um, the cereal liners for that or for painting. Um, but first, I want to get these stuck down before we start the mod podge. So just bring my glue page in. These are only paper, so I'm going to use Pritt stick for these. So how's everybody doing? I hope you're all doing well. Um, hope you've uh, been enjoying my videos. Okay, I'm just going to bring this down slightly so that I can get to see that I get this kind of straight. That's, I just want that up in there. Let's get some of that excess glue off. I think that looks straight. Yeah, it does. So let's put this bottom one on. And then we'll put the words on. And I think that's just going to be nice. I didn't want, I decided I didn't want anything too um, much of a big focal point on here. Um, I wanted the fact that um, it's collaged and um, you've got the Mod Podge that we're going to put all over it um, to just kind of shine through. About there, that looks straight. That looks 
excess glue there, look. Okay, so now we've finished with that page. So now I just use this little glue to do these because they're card. They've all everything was inked. I inked ahead of um, time, so I don't have to do the inking because I want to get quite a bit done in this video, so that the third and final. Um, sorry, the third part will be. Um, the um, decorating yeah that looks straight so that says autumnal and this one is harvest there's loads of other words in um, Rachel's kit and if I just want to uh -huh. do it there I think Checking that straight, slightly off, there we go, that looks straight. Okay, so um, if I start Mod Podge in this side, by the time I get to this side, these should be dry enough and won't move. So this is some Sparkle Mod Podge that I just thought would be really nice. I've had it in my stash for a while, so I want to get these used up before I buy um, any, any new ones. So I'm just going to use an old jar lid as my... Uh, oh, gosh, that's come out a lot. Came out quicker than I expected it to. Um... So yeah, so I'm just going to, just got that to the side and I am just going to Mod Podge all over this. And that will add a nice, yep, yeah, we're all on camera, still filming, add a nice level of sparkle to it. I did this, use the sparkle one on my um, ring binder that I decorated up um, when I was creatively repurposing an old ring binder. And it just gave a lovely um, finish to it. Just a very subtle sparkle to it. And I just thought, well, we've got to have some sparkle in autumn. Why not? The trees seem to sparkle with all the lovely colours. So. Okay, that seems like that look, looks covered. Okay, so let's go. I need to hold that just... So how's everybody doing? I hope you're all doing well. Um, frantically filming ahead still um, so this will air um, a, a several days after it um, for you guys and what it is to me because of as I've said we've got gas works going on um, next week so uh, yeah fun and games Yeah, I 
making sure that there's no thick bits around there so yeah that looks all nice and covered I can just wipe the excess off on the in the bottle and I've got to try and put all this away back in here because <laughs> I put too much well it just came out really quickly I think I wasn't expecting it to be quite so runny Never mind, it's easy enough to pop back in the bottle. Don't want to waste any of it. I know I want to use it up because I've had it quite a while, but uh, I'm still very frugal with my supplies. <laughs> okay. Now, I've, I want to do the second project that I'm doing for um, Rach and Bella. Um, is a traveller's notebook journal. You might have seen that because they're running kind of consecutively in the same week. Um, so I'm going to do um, the same with that cover, I think, because I've done exactly the same process. So all I'm going to do is I've just got a um, baby wipe here and I'm just going to wrap this in a baby wipe. Try not to do the handle. Just so that that keeps that... Um, now then, um, and I haven't got to wash it out when I do the um, second cover. So now all I do is I just can move this um, to one side. So I don't know if you can see the glitter. Oh yes, look, you can see it on the camera. Oh, it's going to be lovely when it dries. So we'll just leave that over to the side and we'll bring in these pages here that um, I've prepped that I wanted to do. Um, so this one will fold this way so that the writing is on the inside. So on here we've got, I've already done this one here as the flap. So, um, and I've kind of prepped these that I want that one to flip up that way and then I want this one to flip out this way. So if um, we stick these pages together, because they've just been, it's um, the digital sheets from the, um, the patchwork. Um, is it patchwork that I'm using with this one? Let's have a look. From, sorry, the autumn and fall background kit. Um, and also the ones that you get in the times and seasons that I didn't use as pages. I've just torn them up um, and thought they'd make ideal like little writing spots. We could put a little pocket or something on them. Um, but yeah, just need to stick them all together now. Just remove this up here, bring this in. Trying to leave it the way that I know it's um, going to um, go on the page so that I don't get confused. going on that side so like that won't we okay so I'm going to just move that one to the side here and bring in this page and this one's having one at the top and one at the side and then this one um, was just going to be at the side so I need to do exactly the same with those let's grab a sec another glue page and start gluing these ones down. Now 
Yeah, I'm. Uh, although I'm still loving autumn and I've got autumn crafts on the on my mind, I want to do these journals. Um, constantly, I keep thinking of, of Christmas, and it's like, oh, I want to do that for Christmas. Oh, I need to get that in for Christmas. Um, so yeah, I'm already starting to think ahead for the coming season. So I do love Christmas. Not quite as much as the um, autumn colours, but I just I love the fact that you've got you can do so many creative things at Christmas time and lots of different things that you can make and stuff. So I've been scouring Pinterest um, and all of my saved pins from last year for um, different makes, things like rain making reindeers. Um, making um i want to make my wreath um this year um so that i don't have to um buy a wreath for the door um so yeah i might i might actually um as as we go into december because i don't tend to do those things until um actually we're in december or at the end of november anyway um i might take you along um with me when i do those if you are interested at all um they're, they're crafts um they're just not paper crafts or journal making or mixed media stuff that you're used to seeing me with um but i see one um little project um by somebody where they'd um made their own gonks um for Christmas just using some old um, coloured socks and different things and some fur and stuff and I was like oh, I could make things like that I think that's where the um, my uh, background in sewing um, comes in because I'm I'm like oh we can I get the sewing machine and the fabric out and have a play so if you're interested and in seeing what um, I'm creating with uh, other mediums then do let me know in the comments below and as and when I come to do those projects um, then I will um, I'll turn the camera on and film me doing them okay so while the rest of those dry this one's dry so we can work on this one I want to I think what I'm going to do first is just give this a bit of an ink along here because I'm not going to be able to ink it very well once it's in. Let's do it like so. We need to ink around here. And I changed my sponge not that long ago, but it's again, it's all messed up um, and leaving bits everywhere I don't know I just I'm chewing mine up something terrible maybe it was because they weren't the actual ranger ones they were a cheaper lot on Amazon and they're not as good but I just thought well a sponge is a sponge as long as they fit maybe there's different types of sponges <laughs> different quality of sponge perhaps uh, let's just uh, ink that crease so that that's inked when we're in there you shouldn't see much of that bit but I'll just do those so yeah that's going to be that way so we now need to ink this side I was thinking I could put a pocket on this outside bit, then you flip it over and you've got some lovely writing spot on the inside there. Okay. Then we do the outside of this. You will see that. Just make sure we're all inked on this side too. There we go. So we are now ready to glue my little panel in place. And I'm going to which way do I glue it first? 
I'll glue this bottom bit on first, I think, and then glue the pages together. So you've seen me do this before. I literally have created that flap so that the flap is what gets tucked into um, in between the two pages. And then I just put glue all over this and sandwich it in there. Like that. Tuck in there. Yeah, once that's flat down, that will be all right. So that's that bit all stuck in. Lovely. So what we need to do with this one. Oh bless you, my cat's sneezing. It's that time of year when a uh, bless her she um she had flu when she was a kitten um and ever since then she um always gets um sneezing and runny eyes and everything like that she's yeah she's got a bit of a a weakness there in her system bless her okay so that's going to tuck in there and hopefully i've done enough yeah because i wanted to see that little bit of wording there so we we need to ink, ink that one don't we before we do any gluing Okay, let's uh, put this one. It's going to go oh, a bit of glue on there. Look. There we go. It's going to be that way. Yeah, because I thought this was the paler of the two sides that you could write on. So we just need to do a bit of a fold on here again. Still feels a little damp, so it's not folding very well, but that's fine. So that is going to go in there. That can go in there. Yeah, and then you got that one. That will be glued down there. Okay. So let's glue this bit in. Yeah. Um, ink in, yes. Oh, no. Mine's all over the place today. So give that an ink. done while I've got the ink out I'm just going to ink this one as well get them both done and then we can glue them in and get that page done just yeah I'm still filming
feels like this ink isn't going on um, as well as the um, walnut stain because the walnut stain was new um, and so strong a colour but I didn't want walnut stain on this I wanted just a gentle subtle vintage photo around the edge so yeah maybe I need to do some re-inking on the pot I did it uh, not that long ago when I did my um put the new sponge in I was like right I'm gonna re-ink me uh pad at the same time as well but we do use if you're an inker like me then uh, everything gets inked <laughs> Okay, we're there. Okay. Get rid of any little bits. So, we want to glue this one in. I've not left a lot on here. Um, actually, normally it's a bigger amount that I tuck in um, on here. But, um, as I said, I, uh, I'm going to be sewing round here as well, so it doesn't really matter. The sewing machine will catch that. So, yeah, so there we go. That's that one that flips up. So now let's do this one. I mean, you could add flip outs to pages once they are um, sewn into your um, signature um, by just doing creating a little hinge on the actual page especially if you do washi tape as your hinge or a bit of fabric then um, it makes it decorative um, which I have done I've done that um, as well but uh, I just like it as I'm sticking these two pages together I might as well add the interaction um, now so that um, when uh, it's all sewn together then uh, yeah it's done I, did, I think I need to come slightly out of there to get that on there we go that over not sure we're going to go down that way okay so there's a flap so we can glue this page in now um and what i'm going to do we'll need all the flaps out won't we for this and i'm just going to glue down here just put a little bit extra around this bit just to make sure that that sticks because you've got you know pressure on it keep opening it and the flaps straight bead of go along here Oh, we're already sticking that end. <laughs> I guess there was some of this glue that seeped out. Okay, so we're just going to glue that little corner. And tuck some glue all along. Sorry, I hit the camera there. 
Just making sure we're all stuck down. We'll appear to be. Yeah, lovely. So that's that page done. That needs to dry, but it can be sewn around. So um, how are we doing for time? Yep, I'm around 30. So these are now ready to do. So um, we've got this one that's going to go at the top. And yeah, I was going to have it this way, wasn't I? So we fold that in. Make sure it's kind of straight. That edge. There we go. So that's going to tuck in at the top. This one's going to tuck in this way. Like so. And then this one's going to tuck in this way okay so let's um, give them an ink some rooks calling they must be in the big fir tree out the back yeah there's a couple um, sitting in there you can see magpie's been about again this morning um, I think I said they nested in the big fir tree um, during the summer spring and summer so they are regularly about here, which is nice to see. We don't get jays, jay birds or anything like that. Um, occasionally we might see one, but we've we're not got woodland close to where I am. So it's uh, an estate. So uh, yeah, you don't tend to see them that much. Um, but magpies, they seem to have made their home um, here in the fir tree. had a baby pigeon in the garden um, for a, um, on and off for a couple of weeks but in this last week every day uh, it was even nodding off on the chair in the garden just sitting there <laughs> eyes closed having a little snooze which is nice um, but it tried coming in the well I said tried coming in the window um, it um, was on the window ledge um, and because the window ledge is only small so and it can't really take it um, it was flapping away and just sort of like its beak was pecking at the window at the same time and it's like what do you want? My cats thought it was great they were like stealth mode sneaking up to the window uh, they loved it but uh, it, consequently when they got to the window the um, pigeon didn't stay there for very long but I did wonder what he was trying to tell me maybe he needs some more food maybe he's eating everything from the tray yeah, it won't be long before uh, I'll be needing to uh, top the bird feeders up more regularly than I do um, I do it once well it's about once a week I usually top up um, the fat balls because the starlings come in and well they go really really quickly when they're in they come on mass and uh, scoff the lot but um, the smaller birds the seeds don't need to especially the sunflower seeds don't really need to uh, fill them up that often at the moment come winter I'll need to I always have to feed the birds. I love feeding the birds. 
having them in the garden it's just lovely there we are done done inking so let's do the glue in And then I can stop the video here. I'll do the um, sewing and hopefully the Mod Podge um, will be dry. And we can, I'll come back and do the next stage. Yeah, this one right near the bottom. on that one and then we want this one at the top just going to, I should have done this first because I need to know where the centre is at the top so I'm just going to pinch that so I know, roughly know that that bit is the centre um, is the, yeah, the middle and try and just eyeball the middle that looks about right yeah, that's kind of centred on the page, hopefully. Lovely. So that's that side done. And now this one, I'm just going to put at the bottom of here. So um, that's nice and easy to do. Oops. Not very steady on my hand today. Oh, and again. Okay. Slightly out. There we go. So that folds better. Lovely. So that's how that one's going to look. So let's glue it down. And then on the top bit here. There we go. Okay. 
and I'll just run my fingers along there, make sure it's stuck. So there is that page. So I'm going to stop the video here, let these dry, um, and then we can sew around these and all of these. Um, and then I will be back for um, to put them all together um, with these because hopefully the um, cover, the Mod Podge, will have dried. So I will see you shortly. Um, so the pages have all dried and I've sewed around them all, folded them all in half ready um, to put together with the signature. Um, these are the other bits that I pulled out as well. So they're all ready. Um, the cover is dry. Let me just see if you can see. Yeah, look at that shimmer. It doesn't show straight away but you hold it up to the light and it's lovely. So um, what I want to do next is just um, before we sew the signature in, I just want to glue this ribbon in um, and then the lace will go over after we've sewn the signature in. So I'm just going to find the middle of this, get a little pinch press like that so I know that that's the middle. Then just find the centre on here. So what are we? 23, 10, 11 and a half. Let's grab a ruler and the pencil because you're not going to see. So 11 and a half. which is going to be about here okay and then I'll grab the fabric tack oh, I've got a gluey blob at the top and Get that centre and just to like a square around there. As I said, you've got the lace covering it, but I just want to hold this in place like that first. I think I'll put a bit wide with my glue. Okay, so that will dry fairly quickly and while that is just drying over there we can decide on the order of the um, pages so I know I want this one at the front and I know I'm having this one at the middle so I always decide those first then what have we got we've got three plain digitals three digitals that have got um, different elements on them. We have that card, Where did the, oh, there we go, and those bits. And then we've got just some plain old, well it's not plain because it's nice but it's just coffee dyed paper and those are a couple of different tea dyed papers. Okay, so we're going in the centre. What do we want from the centre out? Um, what would look good? Would that look nice with that? I think that might do. So let's just get that in the centre there. Okay. Then I think we will have one of the flippy flaps. 
And what I might then do is have, no, I think we've got enough. We'll have a coffee dye. We'll do a bit of book page. And another one of the tea dyed. Then we will have this one, I think. Um, another coffee dye. Let's have... Oh, deciding on the order. What do we want them? Let's have this one in there and then let's have what does that look like yeah I like this one next so that's there a little bit of coffee dye Then I think we'll have this nice lace pocket in there. And a bit of coffee dye. I'm going to have the book page in there. And then I'm going to have this, I think on there then we'll have a bit of coffee dye and then that one and then the sheep I'm going to go back to where I put this ah, I've lost my spot now I Ah, oh, that's been folded wrong. Just realised it's been folded the wrong way. I want that in the centre. There we go. So it's a good job we started, um, went back to this one. So let's start making sure I've got these all nice and tight again. That's going to go on there. And then I wanted to put the book page with that in there. Coffee dye. Yeah, that's a better order. I'm happy with that. in my clips aren't long enough no I don't want to uh, clip it in oops gosh I can't even open that now right let's do ah fingers fingers today. Well, let's just see if this one 
Oh, I'm getting all hooked. <laughs> there we go. There we go. We are there. Uh, all nice and tightly in. Lovely. Okay, so I've got my book binding bits out. I'm going to use this brown waxed um, nylon thread. Okay. Back in my tub. Just flatten that so I can thread it through. Now we need to um, mark the centre. So we know that I've got that here, so I'm just going to go there for the centre. Uh, totally off, but never mind. Come down so that we get them all in. And same with that one. There we go. So, in. Give that a pull. Go back down into the centre, up to here, and then we can give that a good pull. I'm just going to turn it over and make sure we are we are nice and tight. Look, that's good. Not and then I'll do a second one. There we go. Now those are going to be perfect for having little dangles on there. So do is just um, go along and just with my hand press them down like so it's all laying really nicely nice and flat look at that Our centre and then this way. I like I love that lace pocket. This is that on the bit of book page. And then the last page. Like so. And there she has, as you can see, she all lays lovely and flat. And this will just tie up. I've probably got way more ribbon than I need, but I can always cut some extra off. We will just tie this 
yeah I've got way too much at the moment but that's fine and we're going to decorate it and get ephemera in it um, put some lace along here and that will be the journal so I will be back for part three where we will decorate up the journal the pages finish putting the lace on we'll do the book corners and finish her up so yeah there we go I hope you've enjoyed this video thanks very much for watching take care everyone and I'll see you um, next week for part three bye